Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today I would like to talk about a bit of a sensitive and important topic, especially for the youth of today. Zina. I do tend to shy away from such a topic, but I have been requested by so many brothers to talk about this. I don't want to go into much depth of this, but as a basic definition, zina is any unlawful uh, haram intimate relation. This is a quite broad term and indicates anything from illicit intimate relations such as look, touch, etc. But is most commonly known for unlawful intercourse, fornication. All we need to know for this is that all the forms of zina are haram. They're haram. Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala says in Surah Isra, Ayah 32, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Wala Takrabu Zina, Innahu Kana Fahishatu Wasa Asabila. And do not go near to zina. Verily, it is immorality and an evil way. That's all I can say on this topic. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us not to even come close to such a deed. So let us not even come near it. Boyfriend, girlfriend relations, intercourse before marriage, all of this counts. Let us not be of those who indulge in such sins, but rather let us be of those who lower our gaze and be protected from such obscenities. Not only that, but we should stay away from that whole environment. Even if you may not indulge in this, having friends who may have these intimate relations and indulge in this haram uh, zina may lure you in. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, (laughs) <laughs> I can't iterate it enough times Not only should we uh, not do it But we should stay away from it May Allah give us tawfiq to understand Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh